Donald Trump broke with White House custom on Friday by admitting he was playing golf. He would fit in a quick round with Tiger Woods, he said, after seeking peace in the Middle East. We'll be speaking to President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey this morning about bringing peace to the mess that I inherited in the Middle East, Trump tweeted. I will get it all done, but what a mistake, in lives and dollars, six trillion, to be there in the first place. After Turkey, call I will be heading over to Trump National Golf Club, Jupiter, to play golf, quickly, with Tiger Woods and world number one Dustin Johnson. Then back to Mar a Lago for talks on bringing even more jobs and companies back to the USA. Trump's regular trips to his own golf courses in Florida, Virginia, and New Jersey have become a lightning rod for criticism, particularly in light of his own attacks on Barack Obama for time spent on the fairways when he was president. In August 2016, he told supporters in Virginia, I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf. Presidential aides often most recently on Wednesday, the first day of Trump's Thanksgiving trip to his Mar-a-Lago property in Florida insist the president is engaged in meetings and calls, rather than heading for the first tee. According to the website TrumpGolfCount.com, the visit to Jupiter on Friday was Trump's 76th visit to a golf course as president. The site attempts to document whether the president played during such visits, ranking them, yes, likely or probably not. The Washington Post reporter Philip Bump is also tracking Trump's golfing. He tweeted that Friday was the third time he's copped to playing golf as president, but the first time he's admitted it's not work-related. Today is the 100th day on which Trump has visited a Trump property as president, Bump wrote. Probably his 62nd round of golf. That's golf every five days, a visit to a Trump property about every three. In his run for the White House, Trump often railed about U.S. military commitments in Afghanistan and Iraq. In office, most recently when speaking to troops on Thanksgiving Day, he has boasted about progress under his watch. He has previously used the $6TN figure to describe U.S. spending on Middle East conflicts, though fact-checkers have said the number falls on the high end of estimates and includes future costs, such as medical care for veterans, disability benefits and expenditure on nation-building projects. Erdogan later said he and Trump discussed the Syrian crisis and other regional issues, as well as ties between Turkey and the U.S. Their conversation came days after Erdogan attended a meeting with Russian and Iranian leaders in Sochi, Russia, to promote a peaceful settlement in Syria. Trump attended to other matters on Friday, commenting on the terror attack on a mosque in Egypt and retweeting a Breitbart article about an NFL player who knelt for the national anthem on Thursday.